previously. Right, and we are back. It is just about night time. While you were gone, I was uh, beset by some slimes. Uh, so then I chopped down a tree and I just made some torches. I've got 16 left after splattering this place. Now let's see, will you awaken? Not quite. It is night time. It's just not night time enough for this guy, which annoys me greatly. Uh, I've plastered some torches around it out here. Now really, if I'm lucky, I'm just going to fight him entirely within this, using my water bolt. Talk to me, old man. Ah, how is it not nighttime enough? Here we go. It's been beset by bees already. Bees are kicking his head in. Let's fire away all the magic. And then let's get in here with some of this. Oh, I've got to manually swing it, which annoys the crap out of me. Now, his head, when it spins, remember, takes it takes huge amounts of damage. So do I. Right, those hands are nearly dead. Now, I, the reason I don't mind getting hurt at this point is because, well, I can massively heal myself with potions. But every time I'm injured, I release bees, which will hurt him. His hands are gone now, anyway. Bring it over here. I'll smash that off. Freaking police at this time. Come on. Come on, police. Be aware that I am recording here. Have some decency. Let's actually use a potion. That's a mirror. Don't want to use that. You know what? Come here. Take all this. Take it all. I could use a Sharanga here, but should save the arrows, I think. Take this, take this, take this, take this. Eat it all. Eat it all up, all of this. Just don't kill me, please. Are you nearly dead yet? What's your health bar? You just need to have a health bar. Oh, it's going down. It is going down. And again, so is mine, so... Now, that is doing massive amounts of damage to me, so I can't let it hit me. But it also does massive amounts of damage to him. Die, 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 die. There we go. Can't believe I nearly died. I've got a Skeletron hand. Can't believe I nearly died from Skeletron. What is this Skeletron hand? Oh, oh wow. It's a, um... It's a grip. How many of these can I fire out? Oh, wow. Pretty good. I prefer my, um... Blah, 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 whatever it's called, the... My other one. Stop using Skeletron Hand. Come on, I don't want to use that one. Fine. Right, we're stuck with Skeletron Hand. <laughs> Do we get anything else out of that? Uh, doesn't look like it. Just some money and stuff. Right then, let's say goodbye to that guy. Shut the door. And let's go in here. Without that thing to uh, annoy us, the Dungeon Guardian to kill us, we can go fairly deep. I'm not too worried. We don't remember, we don't have to find Water Bowl and everything this time. There's a statue here, I'll take that though. Statue. There we go, an imp statue. Uh, don't think that does anything. Oh, there's a picture of a skull though on the wall, I'll take that. Get out of it, you. Give me that. Got all sorts of stuff. I'm going to swing the sword for likes and run out of torches. Oh, there's another thing there, and a treasure chest. Where was this picture? Where was it? There we go. Give me that. Blood Moon Rising. Nice. This is an ordinary chest, and look at that, we get a gold key in it. Give me all of that. Give me the chest itself. So we can always open a gold chest when we get down here. Which is handy. Uh, open the door. Is that another painting? It sure is. I wish I could see. Well, we've got a chest right here. Should we open it? See what's inside? Get out of it, Angry Bones. We have... Earned of a Muramasa, and it's deadly, which comes with increased damage and increased speed. I like it, even though they're not going to use it. And some Jester's arrows. Sure, give me all that. And then give me that chest. Not the green brick. I'll try not to dig up the green bricks. Shouldn't be allowed at this stage. Give me that skull painting. Skellington J. Fansworth or something. Turn on that one light on the wall. Got some vases. That doesn't go anywhere. You die. I'm annoyed that I have to keep swinging this manually. Let's head further down. Now remember, we're looking for traps at the moment. I don't mean the giant swingy balls. Ooh, look at that chest. I don't mean the giant swingy balls. I mean the 
shooty arrow track. Like that. Much like that. Let's stick a torch down so I can see what the hell is going on. Uh, you, my friend, get into my life. Funk. We'll stick that up along the top so we can see how, just how many we end up collecting. Now, really, realistically, I think I only need, like, two. Between two and four. Shouldn't... Uh, spikes. Shouldn't need any more than that. But if we find more, then uh, why not take them? And we're not going to be here forever. Trust you. Trust me on that. Is that a pickaxe statue? Take it. Uh, if I remember rightly, the pickaxe statue does absolutely nothing. Found a golden key in a random chest there. Nice. Oh, there's a golden chest. Wind it up in that. Over here somewhere. There we go. Whenever we find something of import, we'll stick a torch down. Uh, don't worry about the guy shooting us. We have... Uh, eh, not a great deal of stuff, but we'll take it. Hey, I want this though. Uh, throw away the rough. Oh, also you may notice I have 900 blocks of sand. That's because while I was waiting for the... The night time to come to fight Skeletron, I just thought, screw it, there's a sand pit. Sand pit? There is a desert right next to us. We might as well just dig that up. Uh, sure. I have no room. Let's get rid of this one block of that. I should put it in the bin. Freaking son of a gun. And then let's get rid of some cactus. Like so. Don't worry about cactus. We can get enough of it. We can grow it in our um, our greenhouse if we need to. I need a torch. I can't see what to What was that releasing bees for? Huh. I release bees if I touch spikes. I wonder if that could be exploited. If I find something that does minimal damage to me continuously, stand on it, with maybe a campfire nearby so I'm constantly regenerating, and then summon a boss or something like that and just have my bees constantly um, attacking enemies. Oh, there's a trapper. I'll take that. There's a sconce near it as well, so I don't need to manually light it up. Give me this trap. That is very dark. A chest. Another golden key, amongst other stuff. Healing potions are more valuable than... than... gel. Goodbye. I think I got him. Oh, I tried to put down a picture instead of a... I just want the chest! Give me the chest! Did I get it? Nope. I don't know why, but digging up chests has suddenly become massively difficult for me. Torch on, see what I'm doing. I should have brought that shine potion. Right, there's more pictures around, but I don't want them. Now we have two. I did say two or four. So I could quite happily leave with what I got. Or I could keep pursuing this. Jeez! Guys! Another bone one there, why not take that? Means to get rid of those, we shouldn't have them. Not allowed to dig those up. Don't... The mechanic is in this world. And she's been shot a bunch of times. Uh, we are not going to free the mechanic in this world because we don't need her. This is a world that we do not use. This is just Crimpton. We're here for one thing and one thing only, and that's a treasure and such. Stuff we can't get in another world. Oh, carefully now. Just work my way through. There's another chest here. Why? There's, there's a few of them, in fact. And that is a trap right here. So I think we're done for traps. What we're doing now is opening the... Is that another one? We are definitely done for traps. What do we have? Another handgun, which we can get rid of some... Uh, tattered cloth. No, we need tattered cloth. Get rid of... Oh! Huh. At least I kept the gun. Let's get rid of these chests. We don't need chests. That was really unexpected. Right, I'm going to quickly make my way back there. Really, should I... Are those chests and... No, screw it. Right, we're done. A goblin army is approaching. Don't care. Save game and leave. Going back to our world. 
Now, as soon as we get back there, I'm going to sort out my inventory, but then we will be ready to rock and roll with our next task. Right, I'm actually going to sell these four items I got from the dungeon, the Muramasa, the Scepter, the Handgun, and the Magic Missile, because I don't need them. I already have one of each, and I'm not going to need them for anything else, so we'll sell them away, get a bit of money to our name, and shut that. Now, if I put these in my piggy bank, uh, keep them safe, we have a task to do, and we're going to build it out of something. What shall we build this next thing out of? See, stone brick is like the basic material, but it's one of the nicer looking. I don't think there's anything else too amazing to make one out of. Maybe the sky bricks? Sunplate blocks? They look quite nice. Build it out of that. We also will want some wood, but not a massive amount. Let's say... 40. And uh, then we want... we might as well have a back wall on it. What kind of back wall would we like? Hmm, tin brick, no. Got some wall in here, don't we? Uh, gold brick wall, maybe? Sure, let's bring it for now. And we will need, let me think, wiring and stuff, but that can hold off. We will need those traps. I put those in here. Take those. Uh, uh, let me just look at my thing. I drew a little image of what, how I imagine this to look. Whether it's going to look like this or not is anyone's business. Right, iron is the next thing we need. Uh, I don't know how much iron we'll need, so I'll take 12. What I want to actually make is... If it's even on here. Should be. A bucket. Cost three. We'll take two buckets. Three. You can never have too many buckets. As you can see, I'm wearing it on my head. Because buckets can also be used as vanity items. And I think they provide one defense as well. Yeah, one defense. But we're not going to need that. Now, with these buckets, this is where things get tricky. And you might be able to. Well, you might be clued in on what exactly, how I'm going to build this with my next skull. Ah, I didn't take my thing, I wandered over the top. Uh, we need to go down to hell and we're going to collect some buckets of lava. Now, you may be thinking, well, sure, if you use lava to kill an enemy, that's all well and good. It will probably work. But, here's the but, any items that fall in the lava will be destroyed too. And that is true. Unless, you know how sometimes when the lava spills out on a long pathway, it becomes really thin? That thinness is still, will still inflict fire damage and lava damage, but it's so thin it doesn't destroy the items, and that is what we want. And I'm going to take three buckets of it. One is probably enough, maybe two, I don't know. Uh, uh, can, we, can we reach from here? Oh, we're so close to be able to reaching it. Right, I'm going to have to remove something from here. Let's remove that for now. Not going to use the brick at any time soon. Right. Dig me your way through. Put it back. Put it back. There we go. Put the hammer back on. And now, if we stand here, we should be able to... Three buckets of lava. Right, let's get me out of here. Now, where are we going to build this? That is the question. Now, considering it's going to have a lot of enemies, we don't really want it to be anywhere near us. So how about we put it in this space under our boss fight arena in that elevator space? Is that going to be good enough? Actually, that might work out rather well. Oh, I popped the torch off. Let's put this here. That's right. Now, I, w I, could, I was planning on doing this off camera, and it would be much easier to do it off camera because I can concentrate a lot better. But I figured I'll do it on camera because this might be some things, something that you guys might want to copy, and you can see me do it from scratch. Alright, so I'm thinking. Nighttime was a bad choice. I want this to be deeper, and I can't see a goddamn thing. Let me. Take that shine potion. <laughs> uh, it's going to be so much easier just to do it with a shine potion. 
than it is to get glow sticks and stuff. Oh, come on. Now, I want water to be at the bottom of this, because that way enemies, uh, water-based enemies, will attack. And does it work? Does it have to be in the jungle? Do piranhas and stuff only come from the jungle? I don't know. Well, the jungle isn't too far. I could always build it over there. It's a bit of a walk. Hmm. But I do always want a close by one. Uh. I tell you what, then I mm, no, cause I do. Go away, eyeball. I could build this, in fact, on top of my castle. Right in the centre bit there of the treasury or above the top of mine. Hmm. 